helpful, you guys. I get the most questions. That's how we always do Thanksgiving. Matching for statement. Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Today's Thanksgiving day, so I did want to start off by saying that I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving with family, friends, loved ones. I truly hope you guys had an incredible day. And I did want to say that I'm so grateful that I started this channel, which has allowed me to meet, in a way, all of you guys. You truly are so incredible and special to me and i did want to start off by saying that i'm so thankful for all of you who watch my youtube channel reach out to me just support me even though you all live probably hundreds of miles away it just truly means so much to me having you guys here on youtube thank you i'm very very blessed and grateful for you all so it's thanksgiving we're heading over to my dad's house today for the holiday, I am bringing mac and cheese, baked mac and cheese. That is my contribution for Thanksgiving this year. I have my water boiling right here. I have all of my cheese for the sauce and the mac and cheese and everything. And um, I'm just gonna prep it here, put it in this dish back here and then bake it once I get to my dad's. We're probably about to leave in the next 30 or so minutes, it's 1.30. We eat Thanksgiving dinner at like 3 o'clock. Do you guys eat Thanksgiving dinner that early? Do you guys eat? My friend Taylor eats at like noon with her family. So I feel like it kind of all varies. And then I feel like there's families that also eat at like the normal dinner time as well. But let me know what time you guys eat your Thanksgiving dinner. Dinner. Lunch. Meal. Of the day. But yeah, that's what's going on today. I am sorry if I keep like looking back. Um, I'm like waiting for this water to boil. Yeah, I'm excited to vlog for you guys today and for Thanksgiving Day. And I watched the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this morning. Let me know if you guys watch it too. I feel like I almost have to like tune in at least for a little bit during Thanksgiving Day just to like watch it because I've been watching it for so many years. It's almost just like something that I have to put on for at least a second. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog and welcome you back to another video and say happy Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna start cooking, prepping, and then change and we're gonna head over to my dad's house. <music>
Okay, I put the mac and cheese in this container. We're gonna bake it when I get to my dad's and I'm bringing over my little pumpkins that I had sitting right here before I changed it out last weekend to have as little table decor. My sister said pumpkins are really Halloween-ish, but they're still Thanksgiving themed. So I'm gonna show my outfit. I wanna quickly share my outfit before we go. We're going comfy, but cute, casual. If that makes sense. That's how we always do Thanksgiving. So I'm wearing this oversized flannel. I got it from Revolve. It's the Lovers and Friends brand. I really love it. I'll link it down below. I just got it and I think it's perfect for fall and winter. It's so cute. And then I'm wearing just aloe yoga leggings and they're kind of like a shiny-ish material, which I like. So I'm wearing those and then I'm wearing my new Birkenstocks that I shared, I think like a few vlogs ago I shared that I got them and I got them off of Revolve as well and they're just like fuzzy on the insides. I sized up in them. By the way, I feel like they run small because they have fur on the inside, but I think they're so, so, so cute. This is the outfit for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna head down and we're gonna head over to my dad's house. And jewelry is just um, this watch, gold watch, gold jewelry, same rings that I always wear. And then these chunky Miranda Fry hoops, but I'll link it down below. pile of laundry right there but I'm doing laundry tomorrow probably I just wanted to separate it out so I need a pile or like a few piles but we got home a couple hours ago from my dad's I feel like Thanksgiving always wears me out every year and I feel like everyone can relate it's like something in the food it I'm just so full and tired and sleepy and like worn out it's funny, but um, I've just been hanging out, relaxing, cleaning up. I didn't clean up the kitchen after I cooked the mac and cheese really good, so I've been cleaning up that, doing a little bit of laundry. I'm gonna start that laundry over there tomorrow. And I'm about to shower and probably just like sit on the couch for the rest of the night, maybe watch a Christmas movie. I feel like I'm in full-blown Christmas mode now, even though I've kind of already like eased into that a little bit. So I'm probably about to get in the shower and um, take off my makeup, get in PJs and comfy clothes, and <laughs> sit on the couch.
ready right now and I get the most questions on my mascara, how I get my eyelashes to look so long. I get a lot of questions on that and I feel like one, I have to be honest always had really long eyelashes since I was young. Um, so it I am a little bit blessed in that department. I also don't have to curl them. They naturally just curl really well. Um, but I feel like the biggest tip for applying your mascara is to spoolie brush them before. So I go like this on my eyelashes and I like brush them up to kind of separate them before I put on the mascara. And then I think the mascara that I use is the best mascara that I've ever used in my life. I rarely switch it up. I have added to the routine since discovering my second favorite mascara. But since high school, I've worn the Rocket by Maybelline. I think it's so volumizing. So I use a volumizing and a lengthening mascara and I combine them and I feel like that's the trick because I feel like you almost have to layer two different types of mascaras to get the volume and the length. I haven't ever found a mascara that provides an all-in-one volume and length that is as good as this combo. So I use the Maybelline, the Rocket, and then I use the Merit Beauty and I have used this, it's almost been two years now that I've had this mascara or it's been two years already. But since discovering this mascara, I have just kept it in my routine. It's so good. So first, like I said, spoolie to brush out your eyelashes. This is from Amazon. I have like a pack of 100 and I just keep them in my drawer, throw them away. They're like six bucks for like 100. And then I take the lengthening mascara and I just kind of do the same thing with the mascara wand as well. I also feel like putting eyeliner on your top waterline also helps with the fullness of your eyelashes. It helps create that illusion that they're fuller. So that's just with the Rocket. Now I'm gonna put this and I focus this mainly on the tips of <laughs> I feel like this is hard to talk and do it at the same time, but I mainly focus this mascara on the tips of my eyelashes and that's what I do. So I'm going to do the other eye now. Also look at the difference between eyeliner on the waterline and no eyeliner on the waterline. I feel like it just adds a little bit of fullness. And that's the mascara routine. I just got ready. Christian and I are going out to dinner. We're having a little date night actually and I've been dying to go. My closet is a mess, I'm sorry. I've been dying to go to this place and it's called Ava. Here's the place. Um, It's such a cute area. It's on Park Ave. I feel like everyone has gone and I'm so excited to go. It's really trendy in there. I'm gonna try and get some clips in there and also some pictures for Instagram, but I'm wearing this top from Revolve. I showed it in a Revolve haul like multiple videos ago and I'm wearing it tonight. I'll show a clip of my outfit out there, but I'm gonna pick out some jewelry to wear with it. I'm thinking like maybe like watch to wear and like I wore these like chunky hoops yesterday but maybe like the wrap will be fun. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna do like the fun little twisty and then I feel like something else in my second hole I think we're gonna do that little chain the big hoops are from Lily clasp and then the little chain double stud you have to have to piercing holes for this is from Miranda Fry. I think I got it. I think it's been two years now that I've had these. Hold on, I need a mirror. Okay, here is the outfit of the night. Top is from Revolve. I shared it in a vlog a few weeks ago. Same with the jeans. They are also from Revolve as well. I will link it down below and then I'm wearing booties they're little ankle booties i've had them for like years they're from target they're like super old but i'm excited i'm gonna try and take a few clips tonight and it's gonna be a lot of fun we're literally matching matching for date night just got home from Ava and we went to Kilwins afterwards and I do want to say that if you do live in the Orlando area and if you haven't gone to Ava yet I feel like Christian and I both agree that the dinner portion of our experience or meal there wasn't as good as the starter and appetizer portion we got a bunch of different things but I feel like the apps and the Greek salad were the top parts of our experience there I mean the atmosphere was incredible highly recommend for the atmosphere just the vibe of the place is really really good the drinks were good too but the potato appetizer and the what is it um, baba oh the baba ganoush 10 out of 10 in my opinion christian like rated it differently if you guys have been watching me for a while then you know he kind of like rates very specific but all in all i think we both agree right that yep. the the appetizers are the way to go when you go there but all in all really good recommend definitely going to at least try it out but i want to go ahead and end off this vlog i'm starting a new vlog tomorrow for the weekend so definitely subscribe so you don't miss that video but i hope you guys enjoyed this little thanksgiving few days in my life hope you guys enjoyed make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video which i will pick up the camera tomorrow oh.